Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review the Mares Cruise Backpack Bag. It's a whole lot of bag, so it doesn't fit in the screen, but I'm going to pull it in and out, and we'll figure it out. So, uh, first of all, see, this is the bag laying down, so it says uh, Mares, and it says uh, Cruise Backpack, which is quite cool. Mares do some really cool branding on their bags. This is Mares' flagship dive bag. It's one of their biggest ones. You can see you can't even get it in the whole thing, but it's a really, really big bag. You could easily fit a complete set of scuba gear in here. So you're going to fit all your soft gear, your BCD, your S, soft gear, hard gear, everything's going to fit in this guy. So let's just uh, turn it to the side so you can just see we'll work sideways because that's easier than working lengthways. Is um. Is there are a number of pockets across the front, so I can zip this section out over here, and there's a front pocket over there for you to put log books and all sorts of other interesting things there, and then there's a, another pocket, where's that other pocket? Oh, there's just one big pocket around the side over here, so let's just open that up, let's get into the big pocket, it's got retainer straps with pinch clips on each side over here, so that'll give the bag a bit more support, you've got heavy gear in it, you just sort of tighten it up and it gives a lot more structural support to the bag. And then uh, on the inside, oh, we're gonna open it. It's got a big U-shaped zip pocket here to open up this massive cavity on the inside here. It's quite well padded, and uh, there's two straps just to keep all the BCDs and bits and bobs in in place. Um, so this could easily be washed out and sprayed out afterwards with a lot of good padding. So this is ideal if you were going to uh, jump on a plane and uh, go for a long trip around the world, which is great. Hope we can do that someday. You know this particular video is being shot during the big lockdown of 2020. We've been stuck indoors for quite a while, but we've been reviewing lots of scuba gear. Just dreaming of the day where you can jump on a plane and go flying around, which would be great. So let's say, uh, just zip this U, zip closed, and then on each side there is uh, two side pockets. So I'm going to open up the side pocket over there, it's a nice padded pocket there. That's for your dive fins, and these are quite long. You could fit a free dive fin in there if you needed to as well, which is great. And there's one on each side. One of the things I really like is this little drain that they've got at the bottom over there. So if your fins are wet, any water drains out the bottom as well, which is great. It's got a really funky handle at the top over here. So you can use this when you're walking around the airport just to, to pull it around, but also makes it easier to lift it up. And then at the, the back section over there, there's another handle here. Which means it's quite easy for you to lift up and move around. And it's got some really, oh, hello, I'm back here. It's got some really robust wheels over here. So it's got stainless steel marine grade pins on the inside, so these aren't gonna rust. Always a good idea to spray this down with a hose pipe after so you don't get any salty water in there, but it's a nice padded bottom section over here and quite solid at the bottom. So you know it's going to deal with heavy dive gear. And then at the top section here, there is a telescopic handle, which you're going to pull out. There we go. So that's a nice telescopic handle. And this will give it a lot of rigidity when you're cruising through the airports. So when you try to catch that connecting flight from Abu Dhabi or Dubai to hook it to the Red Sea, this like means you're not going to catch a speed wobble. So I quite like these little telescopic handles, which is cool. And then... Uh, You've got two solid rails over here, which will give the bag a lot more structural support when you're moving on and off decks on the boats, also when it's traveling through airports on those carousels, that gives it a lot more structural support. And then inside here, one of the things I really like is it's got these two awesome padded straps which come out and then clip on each side over here. So you can carry this as a carry bag. So when you jump off the plane and you've now cruised from the airport and you're down at that big fancy liverboard boat, you can now quite comfortably walk across the dock. So if you've got those docks with those uh, wooden slats so the wheels don't go tick 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 you can put it on your back, you can carry it over and uh, life will be great. So I think that's a really, really handy thing as well. Also, when you're walking on the beaches, you don't want to go dragging the wheels through the, through the beach sands. So you can just strap it over your shoulder. So overall, I think this is a really great bag. It's got every feature that you need as far as a dive travel bag is concerned. Your two pockets for your fins, a uh, top section over here for you to put your logbooks and important documents, and then a big massive cavity on the inside to fit all your dive gear with these retaining straps. It's got some nice reflective tape around the side over here, and some really funky Mara's branding. And some of the accents that they've put in here, uh, just these little tags, make it easy for you to grab it with your hands to pull it and close. These have also been branded with Mara's. So overall, a really great travel bag. I understand it's quite an expensive bag, but that's because it's Mara's flagship bag. It's the top of the range. It's gonna do everything that you need for all the dive travel, both local and abroad. So there's my review of the Mara's Cruise Backpack. 
available from our website. If you guys are enjoying the product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go over there, click subscribe, and we'll keep you up to date with a lot of funky things that we do on an ongoing basis. You can also go check out our social schemes, main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba today. And we'll keep you up to date with all the interesting things that we've got going on. We've also got Instagram, Twitter, TikToks, and all the rest. Go have a look. We'll do funky stuff there every now and again. So that's it from me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.